What it do, y'all? It's your boy Shinobi Reddickson, and welcome back to Bio Mutant. So I did a little bit of grinding, not a lot. Um, it was more so like exploring and stuff because as I went on and got some side missions, visited uh, some villages and stuff, it kept on giving me more side missions, but they're like you have to meet this person to go ahead and like do a certain upgrade, or it's just um, like this one is visit lump. Um, so I figured we'd go ahead and wait off and do those together. Because uh, if the team that made the game felt like they were important enough to go ahead and name, I feel like it should be a character that we can all go ahead and experience together. You know what I mean? Uh, but I did say the last episode that we'd start off uh, visiting the OG's uh, homie or homegirl in this case, Noko. So we're here. Let's go see uh, what she's got going on. On top of that, though, before that, before I forget, before I forget, I upgraded a lot of stuff. So Theodora is fucking banging, for sure. We're level 19 now, close, eh, like halfway-ish there to level 20. But I've been upgrading luck. I upgraded um, health a little bit, I think just once. But I was upgrading luck because our loot chance is actually really, really good now. So... Hold on, let me pull that shit up. So we've been getting much better rarities. We've got a lot of rares. Uh, but we've also got some legendary stuff and some relic stuff. I think relic is the biggest, or not biggest, but the rarest one out of all of them. Um, I have a lot of rares, but we have relic. Relic and then legendary is like one tier below that. Um I had no idea that there was, like, such a thing. So we're going to keep on going ahead and uh, upgrading luck until we're about, like, 50-ish percent. Um, that way, you know, we have a good enough, you know, chance of getting some legendary, some relic uh, crafting stuff and uh, equipment. Plus, it gives you, like, extra bonuses, uh, like re reposte, reposty. I don't fucking know. But... Not, you know, just relics do that. The rares do that as well. But still, the better the loot, the better chances we get of getting a good ability. Top of that, look at that fucking damage. 660 to 1,075. And that's just the fucking handle. The base. You know what I mean? And critical chance. That's, that's good too. Top of that, I went ahead and our outfits. I have... Like, one for grinding, because my crit chance is 42% on that one. And then this one is just going to be, like, our story one. Because it's boosted more in loot chance than crit chance. Um, for bosses, we can go ahead and switch over for um, for this one. I know this one has more loot chance, but it looks fucking ugly. <laughs> but it, it's, you know, everything's on there because it boosts either critical chance or loot chance. So, yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in on that stuff. And then on here, we upgraded a lot. Um, go to mutations, biogenetics. We didn't get anything here except for fungi uh, because this helps us get a boost in our jumps. So it helped me get to certain areas that I wasn't able to, you know, get to just with the double jump. But that's the only thing that I got there. I've really just been boosting this stuff, the anti-resistance, because then that way we... We don't have, like, the specific, you know, armor for it or gear for it. We don't have to worry about it. Because radiation, we're already in 100%. So, why not just max this shit out? Side powers, we fucking got... Hold on, where is it? Oh, it's over here because I unlocked it. We got the fucking cis power. This shit is OP as hell. I've been one-shotting shit with like my full bar just using this shit so during boss battles that's just gonna come in handy but yeah that's a quick little rundown but let's see what noko is up to nooks isn't an easy language but at least it's manageable she says she is so happy to see you again again how do i know you if you remember her well obviously not she let you ride her majut when you were a kid. The fuck is a majut? Noko remembers you used to chase around with so much energy and is glad to see you haven't lost any of that spark. 
Oh, well, thanks. I appreciate that's that. That's all long gone now, though. Memories show us where we've been, not where we're going. I need a direction. My memories are a blur. Tell me about Lupa Lupin. Uh, memories are kind of a blur, buddy. Is sure they'll come back on their own once you stop forcing them. Hopefully not to haunt you, though. You've suffered enough already. Yeah, I lost my entire fucking family. Noko remembers those days, too. But she never lets herself wallow in them, no matter how tempting that can be. She sees your back to buck with Lupa Lupin. Can't see how there's any way to avoid that now. Not for long, at least. Yeah. She says the horrors of your younger days were enough to ruin anyone, but not you. You've got all that cheer about you still. Oh yeah, do you see my fucking light? I'm at 38, I think. You've been on. You can walk back down it any time you like until it's worn smooth. But you get to blaze your own trail from here. I'm ready to forgive. Then you are stronger than her. She can't help wanting Looper Lupin to pay for what he did to her Ganotes, despite <gasps> the fact it's a the Miggies. Nature. Bet you can see clearly now. That the rain is gone? Well, the rain is still here, bitch. <laughs> Asks how many paths you've wandered in the world, and if you ever wonder about what might have changed if you'd taken different ones. Um, quite a few paths. I've explored quite a bit of the map, so have to choose or you just stay where you are and what kind of choice is that yep never so get comfortable always push yourself to the limit rushed to see all the gnotes die with likes that you stood up for the world and spurred your way toward helping it out anytime homegirl anytime you saw the light with the myriad they always bring a sparkliness to any day and sometimes the night too Sparkliness. They're just so shiny. Makes her smile to think about them. Ah, okay, I get you. Speak of that now. Right, what happened to the Miggies? She has an idea where the Majut might have gone, as there's no other place it likes as much as its own corner of the open wild. She's even named it the Majut Meadow. Oh. The Majut will recognize the scent you've attracted while being here, so it'll probably trust you enough to follow you. Oh, nice. You should lead the Majut back here when you find it. It's going to take time to get it calm enough to be able to ride out to the World Eater. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. We might be able to do a boss battle. Um, What the fuck is a Majut, though? I need to know what I'm looking for. It's the creature she's ever encountered. A creature straight out of a dream or story. Oh. Well, I've been rocking with no face for quite a minute so what hello where the fuck oh well i guess you're over there oh you're what the hell you were fucking stuck in time bro okay well, let's go get this majit it sounds fucking badass and it might be the one that ends up replacing this shit look at all the fucking megas bro there was like three when we when i came in here give me this stuff this story but they're fucking everywhere. Happen. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Cool. Oh, give me these. Oh, another thing too. I, The reason that I was able to go ahead and get so many of these fucking bio points, the areas, hold on. I think I can pull one up. Yeah, these, the bionucleases, they have those like, they kind of look, what the fuck is that? Mipgug. Um, what are you? Fuck it, I'll go ahead and take your ass down. Um, oh my god, you hit fucking hard, bro. Um, but yeah, though, they look like scorpions or like centipedes, some shit like that. They drop one every single time, guaranteed. And then they always come in groups of three. So I grinded the shit out of that and I was able to get it, you know, to where I'd, I'm at now, but... That's where majority of them came from. But look, I got this shit too. Boom, bitch. <laughs> and then I got this one too. This one fucking dope. 
Hell yeah. And then the other ones, it's like the same shit. But this comes in handy so fucking much. Because now we can just do those two. Because we don't have to get up close this time. And then just fucking whale them with the fucking funk shui shit. Well, you're dead. Did you drop anything? Probably not. These fuckers. Oh, you did. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. I wonder if I could get one of those. Because there's a lot of like enemies that look like you can go ahead and tame them. But you can't. I don't know. Hopefully there is a way. But we'll see. We'll see. I need to figure out what this majut looks like. You know what, No Face? Um, you helped us enough. I think we can go on our own from here. Uh, yeah, because you would. What the? F what was that? Life is a difficult thing. No matter was that just the reflection, play. like glitching out? Maybe. Found the majut meadow. Watch out for the majut. What do you mean, watch out for the majut? I'm here to take it back home. Hey, you bastard! I fucking parried that. You know what? Eat shit, bitch. And then you can take this. Boom. No, no, no. Got him. And then they do this and then fucking nail him. Brr. Here, do you want some? Oh, shit. Wrong one. Same shit. Come on. Oh, fuck. It ran out. Okay. Let's show y'all this shit. <laughs> this shit is nasty. And it does so much damage. And it's, it's literally like per second. Per second. In fucking saint. That shit is broken. I understand now why, like, you had to be a certain light. But even then, bro, this is just... It's ridiculous. <gasps> what is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know what those do, but I still capture them. There's somewhere... Oh, hello. Says the world is filled with horrible noises as it careens toward its end. Uh -huh. Figures there must be one out there somewhere. Then you can play those old discs. Oh, like a vinyl? Supposes you'll have to hunt around. Or a CD, maybe? Says it's hard to find an intact spiral groover, but has faith in you. Be careful with the spiral groover, though. They break easy. Uh, it could be either one. You can fill the world with tunes. Sure. I will gladly find you some. Some bops. Where's this shit at? Uh. Wait, where is that? Oh, over there. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and do that later. Let's get this majut. But I was going to say, there's some where when you do interact with them and you capture them, you can either choose to kill them, um, keep them, or pet them and keep them. And I've chose pet and keep. <gasps> You're actually kind of dope. You got a big ass fucking chin, though. What the hell? Don't Looking like the crimson chin. By all the destruction you can see this time of day. Um, can I, can I get on it? How does it follow me? Um. Turn the magic to it, okay? But do you follow me? No, it's not. Is it not supposed to? Can I jump on it? Nope. Um. Well, fuck it. Let's fast travel there, and see if that works. I don't know if it's supposed to follow me or not. I don't know if the fucking game is glitched or what. But for some of the side missions, I'm actually halfway done. Uh, through them because some of them just have like two of them for the captives i think i'm like exactly halfway through oh what the fuck uh okay well he wasn't fucking following me so how the fuck do i do this shit okay maybe because i needed to do this shit first or did i go the wrong way i probably did go the wrong way to be completely honest, bro. Come here, you bastard. Yeet! Dodge that shit. Dodge that shit real good. Come here. Here, you want it again? Come here, come here, come here, come here. 
I'm telling you, bro, this shit is unfair. And then watch. We're just gonna nail him with this shit, bro. Fucking destroy him. Stop fucking scratching me. Fucking Mickey Mouse looking ass. Look at that fucking damage, bro. No, no, no. Don't you fucking glitch out, you bastard. And he's dead. The air is thinner. Uh, okay. Well, it's better than what we usually get from, from shit like that. Okay. Maybe that's why we couldn't, like, interact with him. I don't know. That seems kind of weird. Especially, like, if it didn't follow you, why would you even, like, go back? You know what I mean? Turn the Majotinic. Oh, it was... It's fucking glitched. I hit X and it didn't do shit. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Maybe I just have to run there. Let's see, let's see. I've had a lot of fun playing this game, though, even on, like, my own time. Well, not my own time, but grinding off screen. Um, just going ahead and visiting the different biomes and stuff. I mean, this one technically is the first, like, new biome. Because it's not all green and stuff. It's more, like, canyony, Which makes sense that the Gnotes are here. But I'm talking about, like, the radioactive biomes, the... Um, I haven't visited the heat zones yet, though, but now just seeing the them, is back in the really bed, cool. It seems calm, but Noko is still concerned. Okay, that's so weird. She it didn't follow me, but it worked. Anxious, but fortunately, she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. Drugs. The Majut once found and ate a bonbon gummy by his mm -hmm. name, and that the chewing really calmed it down. Yeah, I'm sure it was the chewing. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway. At least, that's where she found some last time. Oh, I've actually been to that crossway. That's, like, the last place that I searched before coming here, and there was a machine where I couldn't, like, interact with it. But it had, like, the puzzle stuff on it. That's what that shit is. I know what that that is and where it's at. But what what happened to the Majut? It was the mere sound of the hoof puff that started. Um, She's never seen it so upset. It just ran away before. What a scared bastard. Um, There's not a fast travel there, though. Nope. All right. Well... I will meet you guys there then, because it's quite a bit of a walk. Yes, yes, very nice. But I've already been here. So I know what the fuck is good. And I unlocked everything. That's literally the only thing that's left is that fucking gumball machine. Um, Oh, I have to go out there? Uh, Kind of... Kind of uh, pointless to go up there if I've already unlocked the door. But I'll play your game. I'll play your game. I guess I can fucking backtrack. Just stay on the rope. Yeah, I, I know how to do this because I did it before. And then this slides us back. Yep. Yeah, I, I've i done this. Cranks like these usually need to be wound. Hold Operate that. Oh, fuck. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Okay. I almost fucked that one up. What you see is what you get. Once it's out of the blind box, that is. Oh, you're talking about the color of it? Yeah, I know. Uh, we could just fast travel over there. Let's do that. All right, Noko. I got your homies bubblegum. Namaste to you too. Um, I don't think he... Really ate that, but with its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the Majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. Maybe it's Gumbala moving. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down. But you Sir, you're blocking my fucking view. To ride it than the one she's got. Oh. The only sit tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old world mecha Majut. A if mecha she remembers major. correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia while scavenging for treats for the gnotes. That's not so far away. 
What the fuck is a Mechamajut? Like a car? Over the living counterparts in the old world. Yeah, I think Maybe that's what she's when near referring to. Uh, okay. Have I been to that one? Oh shit, that is kind of far. Uh, alright. We can definitely just uh, make our way on over there and I will see y'all over there because that shit is hella far. What the hell? Okay, hold up. This place has, oh, has that and something else. A safe. Need to be unturned in the uh, right oh, fuck. Wrong side. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was easy. <gasps> Whoa! Holy shit. Oh, and it has that same ability. That's actually a pretty dope ability. It's after being hit by an enemy attack, the next hit inflicted with this weapon does double the damage. Fucking insane. And the crit chance is like 9%. Insane. What is... Health pack, I this will take that. Oh, that was everything in here. Nice. Oh, a village. What is in here? Found the village of Wait. I've never been here. Why does it say I know that there's a gear? That's so weird. What you want, buddy? You can still count on as the world ends is the night sky twinkle. The stars? Yep. Used to watch them with her pops, but he's missing now. Uh oh. Think she's atop her tower every night at least. Says you should look for Nova's tower and chat with her. I sure will. Can this guy? What the fuck is that one doing, bro? We got. <laughs> we just. We got him stuck because we were in his path. What the hell? Uh, maybe. You can help find her pops. I should help Nova and her father. Someone in need is someone who will pay. Uh, no. That sounds fucked up. You, they could count on you. Of course. So where is Nova? Oh my god. Yeah, no. He's gonna have to wait. <gasps> Alright, let me take a quick Let's piss see. here, buddy. Oh, okay. So now we got, well, we got majority of this side cleared out. Okay, but see what I mean? Like, if it was important enough for them to give them a name and then an entire side mission to themselves, I feel like we should go ahead and interact with them together. You know what I mean? I don't want this. I just want to check it off of the thing. Uh, gear wear. Oh, right here. Yeah, ziggity beebity beebity boob. Yeah, 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 yeah. And are we done? I don't. Oh wait. Cries about how the Lotus Captain killed their kidling. The Lotus Captain. They the want fun? to even things, but the Lotus Captain's too mighty. Hey, bro, I can set some shit up. Might be a real hero time. Does the Lupa Lupin eat children? Is there still time for what the fuck just happened, bro? Thinks the Lupa Lupin. Um. Maybe even you. What the, what the fuck is going on? Always around the other lotus. Wants you to take down uh, Can you hurry it up? Cause this is fucking weird. I'm like inside of you and fucking no face. Uh, I'll find justice for you. Okay, come on, let's speed this shit up. Wonderful. Where? That was so fucking weird. Where's he at? Oh fuck, he is far. Yeah. Um. That motherfucker's gonna have to wait too. Yeah. Let's go there and let's get the fuck out of here. Everything's breaking. Oh. You're broken too. You have a chance <gasps> My bad. What the fuck do you want now? Uh oh. They said the word. brush will make it clean. A brush. That's that's what you want. A brush. Figures the friend will know All y'all motherfuckers have hair. Or fur, at least. And none of you motherfuckers have a fucking brush. A gum brush? Like a lint roller? Yeah, I'll help your homie out. 
greasy queasy. What the fuck? Uh, he's not like super far, but definitely not something I want to do right now. Bro, I'm telling you, motherfuckers with that combo do not stand a chance on the dead homies, bro. All right. I keep on finding just random villages and shit. So why not search them, bro? Because they got hella loot. Um, and then the superb ones, they're always guaranteed the bare minimum a rare. So it's it's good because when we go ahead and search them, because our loot chance is so high, we actually got a better chance of getting a legendary and a relic. So that's the whole point. Oh, nope. Heat zone, I do not have that. We actually are really close to one. Yeah, and it's the, the same one. So we might go ahead and scoop that up before this episode ends. So then that way we can go ahead and, well, I could go ahead and grind out <laughs> heat zone biomes um, on top of the the bioactive ones or the radioactive ones. Hey, we got ourselves a level up, baby. Definitely doing luck for sure. So now we are at... 30% loot chance. That's fucking crazy. And our crit chance is 52%. That is insane. Okay, you know I'm definitely gonna fucking YOLO jump this. But look at this fucking view. Holy shit. The map is huge. And it looks so, so good. So fucking good. And the tree of life is over there. So good. So good. Okay, let's YOLO. Yeah, yeah. A smile no fall everybody. damage, baby. Guess shopping here put a smile on your face. Uh, yeah, I feel like any mall would, if they got the shit that you want. God, um, there were the only two here. What the fuck? There's usually like a big dude here. But I guess what the fuck was that? <laughs> the noise is fucking weird. Oh, it's probably like a radio or something. I think. Nice, nice. What is that? Oh, just a resource tower. Thought it was like a fast travel thing. But usually these don't have that kind of stuff. What the hell is that? I don't want to fight. I'm trying to... Oh, what is this? That's... That's it? Well, that wasn't very... Okay, whatever. I mean, I guess it did give us a rare. Can't fucking complain, but... That was kind of a booty... A booty loot gain there. What about you? These sometimes give me three. Three different items. Uh, nothing there. But what is this? Uh, so I think it's just the outer one that has trouble? Yeah. What we got on the tunes. Oh, damn. Okay, well, we just witnessed a death right there. On national TV, too. Imagine. A screwdriver? Bro, you can attach pencils to this shit. I want to make, like, a John Wick weapon, bro. That'd be fucking hilarious. Uh, is this progress down here? I don't think so. Nope, I think this is just a loot. All right. This all goes into one area, right? <gasps> Give me that. And, okay, yeah, it looks like it goes into one area. I have, like, fucking three of those. I've been meaning to go ahead and get to one of those vendors and either sell shit or see how, like, we can upgrade it. Because depending on what kind of, like, piece of item that you got, Clothes wise or gear wise, it'll get you different abilities. So, they match. Uh, so this one, this one, Just a few this one, left. nice. Now the door opens. That's to the oh, we needed to go down here anyways. Look at that. Oh, is that like a motor? I think it was. The air gets Wait a minute. Did I have... Hold on. Have I been through here? Yes, I just came from there. Fucking idiot. 
Know your surroundings. Wait. I heard talking. Oh, it's the fucking TV. What is this? You need to loosen Yo. Rattling the mechanism. Okay. Well, I think that. Uh. Just a few moves. And then that. Make them count. Nice. Yo, this is fucking sick. That's it. The sit type is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get the sit type back to knock her. Can I have this one though? Oh my god. This one is fucking sick. Hold on. Let's, I don't know why it changed us to... No, wrong one. And this one. I don't know why it changed our outfit into this. Was I showing you guys the outfit? That was probably why, huh? Yeah, fuck it. Go back to the story outfit. Um, I... Oh, okay. I thought I could interact with that shit, but I guess not. Wait, so does that mean this is saved on here now? Hold on. <gasps> oh my god, hell yeah. Alright, we're going back to Noku and get an update from her and see what is good. Hi, right, homegirl. I got the saddle. Nice. Now that the Majut's got a mouthful of Bon Bon Gummy and the brand new sit type is in place, uh -huh. Majut is ready to ride. Hey. Noko's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof pup when you confront it. And what is She's that? called them glitter moths, and the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. She's Mito. asked him to keep them somewhere safe. Okay. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, what are glitter moths, though? They're small airborne creatures with bright reflective wings and a conspicuous fluttering flight. Oh. So, okay. I guess, like, just regular moths with, like, bioluminescence? Is that the word for it? Okay, well, homeboy is there. Um. Uh, okay. So, right now, we're gonna go ahead and... We'll go ahead and do some of the side mission stuff that, like, I feel add to the story. So this one, I saved this one because, one, it's an upgrade for the Clown Fist. And two, it's a fucking paletero. <laughs> you go to him and he upgrades the shit. I thought it was the dopest shit ever. I went there because I wasn't, like, really paying attention. Not going to lie to you. Um, when the NPC was giving out the the mission but then when i got there there was like a little intro and he's got like a little jingle and shit it's fucking dope so i definitely want to show you guys uh i think his name is click clink so many some shit look at this shit though in the forest. this shit is fucking dope the shark at the this fellow seems shocked to see you he's heard about you but figured you didn't have the guts to do what must be done to survive till the end of the world nah 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 you misinterpreted buddy your judgment is off. Uh, how did you survive so long? What have you done to survive? I'm tougher than I look, no buddy. Means, that's obviously true. The Hell yeah. Figure someone like you must be willing to do anything to stay alive, just like him. Oh uh, yeah, I got a hustle, baby. Motto, which way will you go? Are you really tough enough to see this through to the end, or will you turn tail and run? When the end finally comes. Hell no, we going full beast mode. either way. When there's nothing but a bad storm rising, it's ride or die. Hell yeah. Asks you to think of the world like a set of locks. Okay. Every time you do something, you decide whether to open one or not. Would you go back and open different ones now? Uh, things could always be worse. Things could always be better. I mean, they could always. Uh, well, I really don't like either of these answers. I guess could always be better. Better than what? Maybe things have to get worse first. Then I can't disagree with that. How pointless. 
Appears to him like you've been wasting your time trying to fix the unfixable. Yeah, oh, fuck you. Can't understand why you work with the Mirinov. Someone needs to lock them up. What? Why? No, they're so good, so righteous and worth it. <coughs> you look like you'd be a fun lock to pick. Says back in the days, no one locked anything, but that's changed. Locking yourself in and others out is his key to survival. That is true. Back in the day, a lot of people didn't lock shit. But for the right houses, they cause willing to unlock secrets from the back then. The gears mesh well between you. It'll be easier for both if you just call him Click. I for sure. Uh, are you really that clever? What can you do for me? What sorts of things do you work with? Uh, what can you do for me, buddy? Says that's the right way to ask that question. Think of yourself first. Click says his key to success is metal. And judging from what he's heard about you, you're handy with metal too. Literally. Uh -huh. If you charged a bar of metal at a toxin or zap station, he could forge it into the palm of your hand. That would Ooh. help your clonk fist beat new paths into the future. Okay. Flip the switch of a generator that produces superheated glowy air and get on it when the lightning charge forms. Simple, right? Uh, it does not sound simple, but it's worth it. Because the biggest risks come with the best rewards. Okay. Locate the substation. That. Can I fast travel there? No. Yeah. Well, even if I fast travel there, doesn't uh really get me much, right? Uh, let's call her homie. Hell yeah, we need a name for you. I don't know. I don't know what a, like, fitting name for you is. Days uh, are don't waste no, not that. I can jump. Fuck, what would be a good... Spaghetti. <laughs> I do <laughs> that's the first fucking thing that popped into my head. And that's almost the first thing that comes into your head when you look at this shit. That's what it's gonna be. This motherfucker is named Spaghetti. And it came up because his tail looks like fucking Spaghetti. So there you go. We got the Spaghetti now. Part of this team. Uh, can I go through here? Okay, cool. Yeah, so these guys, they can't, like, swim. But if the water... If the water is shallow enough, we good. How do I, oh, this is how you get in. Uh, spaghetti, you stay there. I will take yes, this. Some e -waste for you. A psionic shrine. Oh, this. I don't, I don't even need these kind of points anymore. I need the bio points and then the, the dog tag ones. I forget what those are called. Those are the only two that I need to grind for. Because, I mean, there is one more ability that we can get and i think it's only 10 of these and it's like a levitate one but i don't really see it as useful especially when we have the glide ow what the f <gasps> fucking theater you gotta relax whoa what is that just flip the switch of the generator to produce superheated glowy air and get on it when the lightning forms oh oh <gasps> Oh, I gotta do it multiple times. Okay. Ow. I'm guessing rules of three. Hurry. All right, there you go, Theodore. Stay in this shit. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That one. Fuck yeah. What are you? Not today, you bastard. Can I use my Sith Lord powers on you? Probably not since you're electric yourself. That would be kind of fucking stupid. Now, wouldn't it? But, I can blast your ass. So give me that. Nope. Do this shit again. I want to do this crack one. Em and, em. and then this one. And then we get our fucking one fool shit. Come here. Beat your ass. Bitch. Do it again. Beat your ass. Bitch. Alright, and now we freeze you. Times that shit by three. And then, ow, ow, ow. No, 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 no. Bad, um, I was gonna say bad Squishy. Oh, that works, right? Because Squishy was a jellyfish. All right, your name is Squishy. 
and squishy, you're gonna fucking die. Um, I might die before that though. Okay. No, 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 squishy, stay the fuck back. Ow, fucking bastard. Come here. Oh, that was fucking sick. And you're gonna get clunk bonked. Bonk. Into the ground, you bastard. Oh my, did that shit say 10,000 damage? What the fuck? I annihilated you, bro. I'm so sorry, Squishy. <gasps> I didn't mean to go that hard on you, bro. What the fuck? And I usually never do that move because it never, like, lands for some reason. It'll do the animation, but it never fucking lands. And the one time I do fucking 10,000 damage, that's crazy. That's probably why it never lands. All right, will do, will do. Um, spaghetti, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I wonder if you can... Not necessarily, like, upgrade them. But, like, give them, like, a different look. Or, like, a different saddle, I guess. Because if we could do that with the Majut, I wonder if we could do it with all of them. And then, like, it increases the speed or something. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Another thing that would be cool is, like, a stun prevention of when they jump. Because after a certain distance, they just fucking eat shit. And, I mean, even if you, like, land it and they land perfectly on their feet and you can see that they did... It'll st still do the animation of them just eating shit. I don't know. That'd be a good upgrade to do. If if we can. But you hear this shit? Straight fucking balatero music right there, bro. Alright, click. Don't disappoint me. That's it. I could have done that sh Oh my god. That looks fucking amazing. Click says your fist is charged and ready to punch a hole through anything that stood in your way in the past. Nice. Click's worked out the locks of the world, but still needs to make the keys. That's a good way to see it. He could make a skeleton key, a key that'll unlock any old lock if only he had a back in time bone. Right. He's talking about remains of the dead and gone, and that means a chill down your spine as this bone comes from a particular site, the gone forever moment. Wait, is this like an actual thing? Thinks you might have unlocked the secret to his plan. Click says you're locked together in fate. Uh, okay. Well, it's time to go for me. Oh, it is a fucking, oh, I want that, because that sounds important. Okay, we're going to end off the episode here. Next episode, we're going to do that mission, and then there's another one. Where is it? No, no, not that one. Uh, This one, Visit Lump, because I have no idea what or who that is. I don't even remember unlocking that side mission to be completely honest with you um and then we also need to get the heat suit or the heat zone suit that'd be really really useful because there's a lot more heat zones that i thought there were you don't see them on the map but it's usually like when you go down into the sewers or like the one that we ended up going to where it's like underground which makes sense because i mean closer you get to the middle of the earth harder it gets but yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, go ahead and like the video, sub, click the bell icon. Give it a little. And I've, I was watching a video on YouTube and they were saying that YouTube is broken when it comes to the like button too. So sometimes the likes like don't register. So just while you're at it, just go ahead and double, double check the like button. <laughs> and then while you're at that, Go ahead and follow me on Twitter because I keep you guys updated. I, well, as I'm recording this, I went ahead and uploaded the first schedule, first ever schedule of the week. I think by the time this comes up, uh, 
uh, I need to check the the calendar to be sure before I say anything. But go over there because I update you guys week, weekly, weekly on stuff that goes up. I do a weekly because just in case if something ends up changing, whenever I do change something, I have to rearrange like the entirety of the week and the following week. So that's why I do it weekly. Uh, but yeah. Other than that, y'all, I appreciate y'all. Much love, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. SD, she's always on my mind, I got to fit it. Baby, I'm always on the grind, I gotta get it. Crazy, I got the city rocking with me, Daisy.